let R of t be a parameterization for a level curve of z equals f of xy. In our last video, we learned that the gradient at a point on that level curve was orthogonal, had a dot product of zero with the velocity vector, where the, another way to think about that is to say the direction of motion. I wanna use that idea to be able to figure out what the equation of this tangent line would be. So I'm gonna use this idea that del f, evaluated at that point, is orthogonal to the direction of motion. So if del f at that point, and for ease I think I'll just start writing del f, and we'll understand that I'm talking about del f at that particular point, was equal to the vector a comma b. I claim I can do something clever with that vector to have a vector that points in the direction of motion. It might not be v itself, it probably won't be v itself, but it would point in the right direction. Because all I have to do is do something with this vector to have an orthogonal vector to it. Pause the video and see if you can come up with a vector that I'm going to call u that is orthogonal to this vector. I hope what you decided was that you could just switch the components and make one of them the opposite, and it could be either one. Here I've chosen to make it A, really for no reason whatsoever. So del f points off perpendicular to this tangent line. This vector u points in the direction, it's parallel to my tangent line. So I should be able to find parametric equations for that tangent line, but since it lives in the plane, I actually want to find uh, the equation of the tangent line in slope intercept form and in general form. So I want to use this to construct the slope of my curve. So I have a line that's going to be parallel to this vector u, which I'm calling b comma minus a, and I have the point x naught y naught on the curve. So if I can convert this vector into a slope, I'll be good to go. Well, slope is always the rise over the run, and if I think about it, if I plot the point x naught, this is telling me how far to go over, and this is telling me how much to go up or down, I guess I should say left or right or up or down, to find the slope. So my slope here is really minus a over b. So point slope form, I would see this. And I could distribute, I guess I did say I wanted it in slope intercept form. I really probably wouldn't care too much to write down this collection of symbols, but that's what my line would look like in slope intercept form. But the really cool thing is that if I rewrite this equation a little bit, if I multiply both sides by b, I would get y minus y naught equals the opposite of a Oop. equals the opposite of a times x minus x naught. And if I add everything to one side, I see what I would usually think of as the general equation of a line, but even better than that, this is just a and b. That's what I wrote down for del f at that point in question. It was the vector a comma b. So now I can actually interpret that statement as the partial with respect to x, evaluated at a comma b, times x minus x naught, plus the partial with respect to y, times y minus y naught. And I need to get that, oop, x naught y naught goes in there. I'm evaluating at the point p naught, excuse me. That's the kind of thing I should edit out of these videos, but that's okay. Equals zero. If I have the gradient vector, I can write down the equation of my line in this format with no effort. Let's work an example. Find the equation for the tangent line to 
two. The ellipse x squared over 4 plus y squared equals 2 at the point 2 comma 1. So I'm going to think about the left hand side as being my level curve. I can find the partial derivatives. I can evaluate my partial derivatives at these at this point. Pretty boring to do, and I end up with these coefficients. And now, if I just go back to what we derived on the previous board, I have this partial, I have this partial, and I'm ready just to write down my equation. 1 times x minus 2 plus 2 times y minus 1 equals 0. So x minus 2 plus 2y minus 2 equals 0. And pretty easy to write this in its general form. I always like writing lines in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to get y by itself. And there's the equation of the tangent line I was looking for.